What's up, everybody? It's Sujan Patel here. I've got an awesome guest for you guys today, uh, Syed Buckley. A big fan of you. I've been stalking you for a while. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, can you just do a quick introduction and then we'll talk, we'll jump in. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much for inviting me to the show. And of course, a mutual fan of your stuff. Um, Syed Buckley, I run a suite of businesses under Awesome Motive. Uh, where we build, you know, small business software to help grow and compete with small business grow and compete with the big guys. And nice. uh, yeah, so our software is running on 9 million websites. So just to give you an idea of the scale we're operating at. Holy crap. How big is the team? Like um, the company? Yeah, the company, we have us over 56, 57 people now. Yeah. Nice, nice. So yeah. uh, in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, running multiple companies. Uh, my first and only question is how the heck do you do it? Um, <laughs> I have, a, I have a very good team, uh, which is pretty much the answer you would get to anybody who, who you ask this question to. I have a really, really good team and I have general managers slash president roles for every company that, uh, that I own, uh, or that I'm a majority owner in. So, nice. so yeah, that's, that's the trick to, the trick to running all these companies. I'm not involved in the day to day of a lot of them. Okay. So I think I want to dive into that. And I also have another question from that. So there's, there's two parts. Let's dive into the GM um, role. Um, I guess, when did you start implementing that? I mean, you went from, I assume you went from one to two to five businesses, a hundred or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, right. So started implementing that in 2013, mm -hmm. um, when we launched Optin Monster. So basically my, my philosophy is that I handle more of the business and marketing side and I have a technical, um, co-founder. Mm -hmm. And it's soft and monster. My co-founder was Thomas Griffin. Um, and he actually had like, you know, one business before Optin Monster as well. So, so like we started Optin Monster and then I started acquire, like merged his other two businesses into, into our umbrella. Uh, and that's when we had like, you know, three, three different businesses and we were kind of running it like, you know, I was running it like at all different ways, running around like crazy. And, uh, so we decided to exit the other two businesses and then I stepped out of Optin Monster with Thomas taking the, taking the point and, you know, becoming the president after he worked with me for so long and we implemented several systems and that made things a lot easier to do this uh, with, you know, with WP Form and the Monster Insights and so on. Nice, nice. So you, it, you've hired what, how many people, how many GMs have you hired now? Um, we have one, two, three, four, uh, four different GMs that are running different divisions um, of the businesses. And then how do you, what do you look for? Like, what is like, I know what a CEO looks like, right? Yeah. But is that the same as his GM? Pretty much. Yeah. You, you are as a GM or president, you're a CEO of that business unit. Essentially mm -hmm. you're in charge of everything and anything related to the day-to-day -day operations of that business uh, strategy as well. Um, I work with them, you know, on a, on a regular basis, I would say like quarterly uh, for planning side. And then, you know, we just have like catch up calls once a week or every other week um, related to whatever is happening with life. So that's like a one-on-one? One-on-one, -on -one? One -on -one, right? Yeah. So when you, with these, um, with these GMs, um, you know, I, I guess like, with, with the businesses you have, I mean, they're not going to, are they going to, do they have to have like run businesses before or are they? So, so in, in our cases, like these are not hired GMs, like they're, they are the original co-founders uh, um, okay. of the businesses. So, that, so they understand the product really, really well. For example, like Thomas is the co-founder, like we built Optin Monster together. Yeah. Right. Uh, and he, he, he used to write a ton of code. He was, he was a programmer by, by trade. Um, and you know, as, as he, as he grew into that career, as, he, as Optin Monster grew the company, he, you know, he started taking over more and more. And as, as like, you know, then we decided we're going to launch uh, WP Forms through WP Beginner. You know, we do annual survey and people said, you, you should have a form pro product. So I was like, okay. And then, um, you know, Jared, who was a very experienced developer in, in the ecosystem, um, you know, joined as a co-founder for WP Forms. And he was, a, you know, the technical co-founder of it. And now he's the president. So essentially what's happening, if you look at it, I guess a pattern in my businesses is the technical co-founders end up becoming the president slash GM, whatever you can call it. So what do you have to teach them? That's not okay. So the technical part, I'm assuming they're going to get that. They're going to scale yes. up that. Yeah. And how, I'm assuming a lot of the team is also the technical folks too, right? 
Uh, no, the team is divided in, in like, you know, three different groups. So product, of course, is very, very technical. Um, but growth doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be super technical, right? The, the yeah. marketing, the writers, the affiliate side of the business, they're, they're more business and marketing people. Um, our support team has to be very technical just because of the technical nature of the, of the product. Product, got so, it. Um, so in terms of like, what, what, am, I, what am I teaching them? Uh, it's, it's more uh, business side of things from business development to marketing, um, operations in general. Uh, you know, it's, it's one thing to build a product. It's another thing to build a company. Right. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's a different, different yeah. so you, you, need, you need a little bit more experience on that. Like, you know, at the program where you have a very good gut feeling about, hey, this is the way we need to write this code so it scales. Uh, yeah. But like, you don't necessarily have that same kind of gut feeling about, this is the pricing change we're going to make and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless you've done it like 10 times and you, right. maybe that's something you can even tackle on a one-on-one. Like, hey, done this before don't stress just right. do this ping <laughs> exactly. me if you need help right which is <laughs> yep. a lot of the problem like i find like coaching people like the take giving them like a a safety net solves right. a lot of concerns right right um uh, also like you know looking at business numbers right hey this is this is what net revenue churn is you know um this is this is what, this is where you go to look for all those metrics like training training that and sharing that kind of insights is how you kind of go from being a product lead to, you know, leading the company. Nice. And how long, the is there a time frame it takes to, to, to turn a technical co-founder into a GM? It, 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 it kind of, it, no, it, it depends. It depends. For example, like, you know, Thomas being already having ran his own business. Cause so he was like a technical co-founder and CEO of like his business before Optic mm-hmm. Monster. So he was like, you know, way more experienced yeah. than, you know, in, in, in well worse in how to run a business, very smart. Um, number sky super super smart right uh, so our skills complemented really really well the only thing he was lacking was copy and some of the marketing side of things but you know from business side angle he's very smart so it was it was a much quicker transition out of that same thing with jared quite lucky in that that he had a service business before that so he didn't have a product business where you had to do recurring revenue business but he had an agency uh, so you understood the business side of things so it wasn't it wasn't rocket science to teach that part. Uh, whereas uh, in Monster Insights, uh, you know, yeah, I have like Chris Kristoff, who, who's a phenomenal developer, one of the best people I know in the world who deals with security related things, even a WordPress security team even. Uh, but like, he doesn't have like as much of the business experience as Jared. So it takes like, it, it takes like a little longer to, to do that. But I don't think there's like, you know, any time period because Chris is so smart. He learns things really, really fast. Yeah. Right. That's so, awesome. so yeah. So like you, you have to, you have to like, I, I, I don't have a magic number. Oh, it takes like six months and you're off on your own. I, yeah. don't, I don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's awesome. Well, thanks again for sharing this stuff. There you have it. That's how Syed runs multiple companies. I've always wondered this. So <laughs> part of the interview is for me. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Syed where I talk about buying and selling WordPress businesses and building and hiring teams. Take care.